How are you, YouTube? This is your girl, Amani B. And I'm coming to you with how to look beautiful on a budget. Okay, so of course, everybody believes, oh, natural is beautiful. And there's some who believes the beach street is beautiful. And there's some who has that middle ground who believes that's beautiful. So whatever is your beautiful is your beautiful. It is what it is. Today, I'm talking about makeup. So, when I first started doing my YouTube videos, um, before I realized that I loved more natural brands and organic brands and stuff like that, a lot of my products were from the beauty store, right? The beauty salons and stuff like that. So, of course, shopping at the beauty salon rather than maybe your big department stores or your Macs and things like that will help you to get things on a budget. But there's tricks to shopping for the big names, right? Or getting the big name brands and the good quality and things like that. Again, just because it's big name does not mean it's better quality, right? So here's a trick that I've learned, trick one. Go to Sephora. Find out what you like. Find things that you like. Find the product that you might need, right? And get it for free. Get your samples. A lot of the, let's say a lot of the cream, no, not the creams, a lot of the powders you could get free. A lot of the cleansers, a lot of the lotions, right? Even lip colors, you can get a lot of things for free. You might not get a big size, but you can get it for free. Don't forget, Sephora has sales, especially online. There's actually one going on right now for the VIB members. Um, but shop with a friend. Connect your cards or connect have one card amongst friends so that you guys can be VIB quickly or VIB Rouge quickly. You get free stuff all the time. Then if you're just a regular beauty insider, when you shop online, you get three free things each time. Split up your orders and use coupon codes, right? Get those free shipping coupon codes. Get those percentage off coupon codes. Shopping online is your friend, right? Or you can go in the store and still get those same samples. Get them. Go to multiple people in the store and get those samples. A lot. If you go to one person, she'll give you three. Somebody else will give you three free samples. Go to different stores to get your free samples. If it's just one product you need, get it three times. Get it multiple times. It was a time I did not want to purchase what is it? It's like a facial scrub. It's a pumpkin facial scrub. I went each time. Every time I went out, I got a two samples of it. Two of the little tubs, right? It's like a little tub like that of it. And it lasts because a little went a long way. Especially with products like lotions and um, liquid foundations and stuff like that. It goes a long way. You don't need to buy the whole bottle. Especially, you know, some things expire. And makeup is one of them. You can't have it forever, especially if you're digging your hand in it and all that other stuff. There's a lot of, how you say, it's a lot of germs. If you're sharing makeup, especially eye makeup, it's a lot of germs being passed around. So let's do beauty on a budget. Okay, other than that, I do recommend eBay and Amazon and all that other stuff try it try it I'm an avid eBayer avid I sell and I buy on eBay as far as makeup try to buy when it's not used you never know what people are doing you also have to find out what country you're buying from some countries have rules where it has to be natural and organic or it can't have certain products US is the US is not one of them However, there's a lot of products in the U.S. that are safe. You know, you just never know. And then you have to be careful with if the product is made by the seller. Make sure it's full disclosure. You have to know what's in those products. 
beauty on a budget so i'm not it sounds like i'm not doing the countdown because i'm just saying things out in the open of how to do beauty on a budget right but i have made my own products before right i've made lipsticks i've made powders i've made tinted moisturizers this can be happened by this can happen by a lot of ways right for the lipsticks I bought powdered mica powders and things like that. I bought the moldings for the um, lipsticks mixed together. I can't remember what my base, I had a lipstick base. But you know, you can use beeswax, you can use whatever base you want. I, look it up, beauty on a budget. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, other than that, for like the um, tinted moisturizers, you can just you mix a powder with some lotion. Um, that's the, how do you say, the getaway, whatever. But yes, it does work. Um, especially the old cracked up powders, trust me, I've had some, and I've thrown it away. Like, ah, whatever, I'll just buy another one. But then you can't get that color again. What happens when you can't get that color again? It sucks. So just turn it into something else or press it again. That's all right. You can press it again. Google up how to press your powders. It's easy. But yeah, beauty on a budget. So, okay. There's a lot of liquid liners that mess up. Try to fix that. You know, put some, some solution in there. Try to shake it up. Get those liners back in point beauty on a budget clean your brushes don't just throw them away at one point not in the beginning but like in the middle of my little makeup fiasco I would just like oh, I'm buying another elf brush but now when you go to stores like Target and stuff those elf brushes has gone up beauty on a budget beauty on a budget is going up so these are just ways and ways and I will continue to share how to get your beauty on a budget. Hmm. I have to review this video to see what I done said because I want to say more right now but I'm like, wait, did I say that? Beauty on a budget. This is your girl Amani B and follow me uh, at Amani B1 on Insta and for I mean, for YouTube, you can just Google Amani B. If you're not watching this on YouTube, you can also YouTube Cakes 512. Okay, see you later, YouTube. Bye.